what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i want to show you guys one baseball player that i have really high hopes on and that i'm currently picking up um, disclaimer this is a video not to tell you what to buy or who to buy it's also not a video to hype this player up it's just a video to show you guys who i believe uh that's under the radar and that i'm currently collecting and you guys might say who is this guy well he's jose abreu of the chicago white Sox. plays first base for the white Sox. so the before i start getting into why i'm collecting them let me show you guys the cards that i've recently picked up from uh from this player okay this one's a cool card the 2014 Bowman Chrome Scout Top 5 Mini Gold Refractors, uh, BGS 8.5. If you guys can't see it, I'll put up another uh, a clear picture if I can. But uh, this is going to be numbered also. This is going to be numbered out of 25. And I'm not going to lie, at first, I didn't even pay attention I assume I didn't know I didn't even know it was a mini refractor. I knew it was a gold refractor. I just I missed the mini part. But regardless, regardless, it's out of twenty five. I did see one crack right here. I don't know if you guys saw it right there. Um, I actually did not notice that until I looked at the pictures again. But at that point, I had to already purchase the car. But. Uh, I see no problem with this. I can always uh, either re-slab it, crack it, or send it off to BGS again or PSA. doesn't matter. Oh, and by the way, all these pickups are BGS pickups. So no card in here is not graded by BGS. All right, so two autographs that I've picked up from him. Is this 2014 Topps Chrome rookie autographs? BGS 9.5. With the 10 auto. I think that's a really great looking card right there. It's an on card auto. Um, this one's not numbered. But it doesn't matter to me. It's, as long as I got the autograph with with the 10 grade. That's, that's, what, the key, that's, what key, that's the key thing that matters. Uh, my second autograph comes from the Finest set. The Finest Refractors. Still a BGS 9.5 with a ton auto on card. I like this card very, very, very much. You can really, you can really see uh, the high definition in this card because it's a refractor. And you know how refractors are always, uh, they always shine through, you know. All right, so... The last two cards I've picked up from him, very excited about. Um, this one's also a BGS 9.5. This is a 2014 Finest Gold Refractors, number out of 50. So this is a Gold Refractor. This is probably my second Gold Refractor ever. I don't have that many Gold Refractors. Um, to get Gold Refractors in, in any... Uh, any grade is actually very tough especially this one because it's numbered out of 50 but this is a beautiful card um, so yeah that's my gold, my second gold refractor this one's actually my first pristine 10 in a BGS I've never had a BGS pristine 10 before this is uh, out of the same set but the finest black refractors pristine 10 this one's going to be numbered out of 99 this is a beautiful card as you can see all the subgrades are in perfect perfect condition um, and thus it being a pristine 10 but the this one's actually numbered out of 90 is in or 99 excuse me uh but to have it a 10 pristine just puts it even more up there. So that is that card. So those are the cards I'm currently picking up from 
Jose Abreu. Okay, guys, so let's look at some stats from Jose Abreu. Um, well, before I get into that, uh, I just wanted to mention that all the cards that I showed you in the video, all those cards were $125 or below. So they were very affordable. You would not think mm -hmm. that, especially the gold refractor and the black refractor, a pristine 10, that would even come close to less than $100, but they were. So just want to mention that. Um, let's get into Jose Abreu's stats. This guy reminds me of Albert Pujols. When he started his career, it just reminds me of Albert Pujols. So um, let's see his accomplishments. Let's see his accolades so far. Okay, he's a three-time All-Star. He won the MVP uh, in 2020. He's Rookie of the Year. Th Three-time Silver Slugger. Let's go to his actual career stats. Okay, so you guys can see Jose Abreu has been very consistent ever since his rookie year when he came in the league in 2014. Um, obviously, everybody knows last year, or excuse me, 2020 uh, limited the players' playing time because of COVID, but Jose Abreu still managed to get MVP and to win that award. So good on him. But as you guys can see, he's pretty much been consistent every single year. Um, he's still f somewhat young. He's 34 years old. Um, and I still see a, a lot more years in him. Um, he's not the ideal age that people want. But then again, you have to look at the time frame that he was in the minors. The time frame that he came in the league. Um, so I still say he has... Uh, a lot to go. Okay, let's look at Jose Abreu's current contract. He's currently on a three-year, $50 million contract with the Chicago White Sox. Um, and he will be eligible for free agency in 2023. So he has pretty much, this is his, this year, is 2022, is his last year on his three-year contract. Uh, but I, honestly, I see him extending and extending and staying in Chicago. Um, that's just where I see him. He's already put up good numbers for Chicago. So I think his next contract will even be even, even be better than that. And possibly, possibly be uh, one of the biggest contracts in Chicago White Sox history. If not this one already. Jose Abreu has a war of three. Which is, if you know anything about uh, wins above replacement, anything 2.5 and above is really above average for that particular position. So Jose Abreu is actually has a good war compared to a lot of players in his same position. Alright guys, so these are the reasons why I am picking up Jose Abreu of the Chicago White Sox. First of all, He's under the radar. Nobody's talking about him, and that's what you want. You want to go after the players that nobody else is talking about. Second, it's the baseball offseason right now, so it's the perfect time to buy. Baseball is right now. Once it starts spring training and everything, that's when the hype starts going up, and that's when the prices start going up. So you don't want that. You want to buy during the offseason, which is right now. Uh, other reasons why I'm picking up Jose Abreu is because of his consistency. As I as I showed you guys in his stats, he's very consistent every year. So if he keeps up that consistency, he could be a possible future Hall of Famer. Another reason why I'm picking up Jose Abreu, he's on the Chicago White Sox. They clinched their division last season. They made the playoffs. So... They, he ha he is on a good team that has great potential to make it to the playoffs again. So that gives him another uh, gives him an opportunity to go for the World Series, which just intensifies his career, his career accolade. If he can just win a World Series, I think that would solidify his already accomplished career.